are listening to Drag Racing Weekly, a weekly podcast about NHRA drag racing. Hey, this is Ron Cass, driving an Apple Auto Parts fuel funny car, and you're listening to Drag Racing Weekly. You can call or text the official DRW hotline at any time at 406 577 1600. Hey, this is Larry Dixon, and when I'm not going 300 miles an hour, I'm listening to Drag Racing Weekly. All calls or texts may be played or read on the air. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget, for your high-quality NHRA and Yellowstone Drag Strip videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Tony Schumacher, the Anytime NHRA World Champion. You're listening to Drag Racing. Now handing it over to our hosts, Tyler Jackson and Taylor Larson. CRW does not own any of the music produced tonight, so please, do not sue us. Hello, Drag Racing Weekly. It is February 24th. Yes, it is. And this is Tyler Jackson. This is Taylor Larson. How are we doing tonight? We're fantastic. I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle this. Yeah, I mean, the microphone probably isn't catching you very well either, so. I'm sitting in the studio in a Kylo Ren mask. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. That's just how Taylor rolls, I guess. Yeah. I wonder what would happen if I punched you right now. Probably nothing. Oh, look, nothing happened. Well, I barely touched you. Oh. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, yep. we got a little bit of news. Um, of course, we're not going to have as much as we would love to. There was um, no race. There was no racing this last weekend. Well, there was. But, what? There was racing. But it Daytona. We got a little bit of Daytona. We'll talk yeah. a little bit about it. I'm, I'm okay with talking a little bit about this race. Um, yeah. Since you actually watched it. Pretty awesome. Longest hour and a half of my life. <laughs> and that was only for the last hundred laps. Good times. No. Not at all. Yeah. No. Much rather be watching 300 mile an hour race cars. Well, no. Go straight to the finish line. They don't have to look for it. That's what we're going to do this weekend. 
Yes, it is. NHRA fans are back in the racing as well. At Phoenix. Phoenix. And Tony Schumacher, he's looking forward to going down there. He, yeah. Uh, he has a very car. To, er, <laughs> what? He has a very good car there every time they race. Yeah. And that's actually words from him. Uh, On Facebook. Via Facebook. So yeah. that's pretty sweet. Larry and Dixon was pretty excited. You know, he's not racing, but he's heading down to Phoenix. Larry Dixon is awesome, and he's looking forward to it, like Taylor just said. Yeah. He was actually talking about the um, food he likes in Phoenix. He does like that food, doesn't he? Yeah. So I'm going to go get some food of my own. All right, I'll be right back. Well, yeah, you'll be right back while I play around with the computer a little bit. So we always know that's a problem when I'm playing with the computer. So we're going to see what happens. Now, Taylor Larson, he does not know how to eat before the show, okay? And see, it's funny because he doesn't work. And so the only work he does is for the show. And so he gets, he gets away with it lucky. I actually have a second job. And uh, anyway, it's kind of fun. But, uh, and so, I actually have to drive here from my first job at 6.30, and the show starts at 7. Sorry, we're a little late. And uh, from then on, I uh, I just eat his Pop-Tarts. He's got Pop-Tarts here laying in the studio. And so I just take some Pop-Tarts and some drinks every time I'm over here. And uh, we got to really restock the fridge. It hasn't been restocked in a couple of weeks. So anyway, so, but, uh, yeah. Um... So, but we, uh, I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> so he, I don't get to eat, but he, he, he's like, sorry, bro. I got to eat during the show. And we're just like, Ugh. well, I'm just like, Ugh, why, why do you do this to me? So, but anyway, we got a little bit of news, um, coming up, uh, mainly a little bit about NHRA stuff like that. Um, obviously don't want to, uh, um, talk about really anything other than drag racing but sometimes especially when we don't have races this new hour show thing that we're doing it takes a little bit of figuring something out to talk about and so but we've got a couple videos and audio and stuff that we're going to listen to um we're going to post to the uh drw facebook page uh tonight we there's a video of gary densham uh his parachute failure and he's been he's been uh posting on, on facebook quite a bit lately um just kind of, you know, like, everybody's kind of getting together to help him out, which is super duper awesome. Um, we actually have a video tonight that was only posted an hour ago by NHRA, so that'll be exciting. I'm excited to see it. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I think Taylor has. He's got all the stuff listed here. Um, and so we will uh, we'll get on that and check that out here in just a little bit. We're going to hear uh, from Gary Densham. Uh, we're going to look at the little bit of, um, we're going to talk with Aaron Brooks and John Collins. We love them. Uh, Taylor's back in the studio. Hello. Uh, they are the crew chiefs for, uh, Richie Crampton and, uh, Tommy Johnson Jr. Yeah. So we'll talk with them a little bit here in a few minutes. We hope you can hear it. We had some problems last time. Did we? I didn't get a chance to listen. I, I just... cut them out, but yeah, on the live show, we were Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. What was the reason behind that? I don't really know. Yeah. So we're going to try it again tonight and see how it goes. Uh, but we'll do that here in just a little bit. Yep. Um, so we're, we'll come back to the videos. Uh, real quick, we'll run through our points or something like that. What do we want to run through first for NHRA? Let's run through points. All right. Well, we're going to check out some NHRA points for your 2016. They're uh, the same as last week. They are the same as last week, but, you know, maybe you guys didn't get a chance to tune in last week. So We're actually getting a lot of new listeners off the uh, Jack Beckman interview. Are we? Yeah. Oh, our that's last, super awesome. Our last episode had about um, 70 um, downloads as of today. Really? Yeah. Wow, I'm. that's awesome. People are coming back. That's great to see you guys coming back. You know, for a while there, we were on the, the Spreaker, and we still are on Spreaker, but it's not live. Uh, it's, it's just recording, um, mainly of, you know, like what has kind of gone on. No, that <laughs> I don't know. I lost my train of thought, and I tried to go with it, and it didn't work at all. Um, Spreaker, we were on Spreaker, and they only had half-hour shows, so we, we searched around, and thanks to uh, Mixler, um, what we're on right now, um, we were able to get a live show going. Uh, pff, an hour-long live show going, and so that was really nice. But for a while, all winter long, actually, 
Um, we weren't able to fill – well, we filled the hour, but we had, like, Star Wars segments because there yeah. was just nothing to talk about. No drag racing. We used to cover the Andra series. We did it once. It's too hard. It, it's too hard for us because they don't update all the time, and we really don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. With NHRA, we can tell you, hey, you know, Steve Torrance, you know, one top fuel, um, you know, stuff like that. Ron Caps, one funny car. You know, kind of stuff like that. But over in Australia, it's really hard for us to keep track of of everything on what's going on. Yeah. And so um, that's just kind of how that rolls. But we're glad that – I'm I'm glad to hear that uh, we're getting a little bit – we're finally getting bigger. Yeah. Um, we've been doing the show for a little bit over a year now. Um, It'll be two years in June. It will be. It's crazy to think that it's been two years yeah. almost. Um. I mean that's insane. We we've, we've had a lot of fun experiences through the years, the last two years, and uh, I think this year we'll do a an hour show, probably just on like a bloopers kind of thing, maybe. Yep. Funny moments and best parts of the shows. We actually have uh, part one of that up right now on wherever you listen to the show. Yeah, that's and true. I'm going to be putting another one together sometime soon here. We have a lot of clips, including we called uh, Michael Jackson on the show. <laughs> yeah. Even though he's dead. <laughs> That's Fab and Jackson, my father. Yeah. Uh, so, but I forgot about that. No, I we called him. No, he called us. He called us. I was like, him yeah, I was like, you. I was like, call me, and he's just like, hello. I'm like, hey, what's up? And he's just like, going to Subway. Going to Subway. <laughs> you must have listened to that because I haven't heard, like listened to that in a while. You must have listened to that today or like last week. Um. Anyway. So, back to the points. Uh, Steve Torrance, first time he's uh, been leading points for in his top field career. So, that's awesome. Round of applause for him. <laughs> Doug Coletta is second. Richie Crampton's third. Not a bad way to start the season. J.R. Todd is fourth. What do you... What do you... Clay Milliken is fifth. I got it. Clay Milliken is fifth. We love sixth Clay is Milliken. Morgan Lucas. I think it'd be really cool. What do you think? Um, I think it'd be really sweet to see Morgan... Get back in the car full time and uh, see what goes on this season. Um, yeah. Do we know if he's running at uh, Phoenix? We have no idea. It's kind of a. We know Shane Gray is actually not running at Phoenix. Oh, really? Yeah, they didn't get the uh, performance they wanted to out of uh, their car at Pomona, so they're taking a couple weeks off and doing some uh, testing and trying to get back uh, the way they want to be. Now, I got a question. What's your. I mean, you know, if you didn't get the best performance, wouldn't you want to go out and test different things? Yes. Make more runs to kind of try and get that stuff up. I mean, I'm no crew chief. I'm no top fuel NHRA driver or crew chief. But I would think more passes in a car, adjusting here and there, tweaking in between runs. You know, I feel like that would get you more efficient and per- performance. It would. So, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, we don't. They're, you know, they're just, yeah. Last year's uh, champion, Antron Brown's in seventh. Terry McMillan is in eighth. Our good buddy Tony Schumacher, he's in ninth. Not good enough, Tony. He'll he'll get it not this weekend at Phoenix. He's going to come back with it, and he's going to pull ahead, and he's going to win here at Phoenix. All right. Phoenix is one of his better tracks. It is. So I'm excited to see Tony. Uh, see he's if right he can on the <laughs> see if I can see if Tony can continue his streak at Phoenix. Yep. Brittany Force is tenth. Dave Connolly, her not teammate, is eleventh. Twelfth is Sean Langdon. Also Brittany Force's not teammate. <laughs> yeah. Thirteenth is Troy Buff. Also Brittany Force. I got we teammate. got it. We got it. We got it. Uh also uh thirteenth is Scott Palmer. Fifteenth is Leah Pritchett. Now we're gonna I'm we're gonna try and set something up to talk to Leah Pritchett. We'd love to talk to Leah Pritchett. You know, she's going full time this year with the uh, Quaker State people and it's awesome. So we're looking to have her on the show. Yeah, and Jack Beckman, uh you know it's something we learned when we talked to Jack. Um was he shops at Home Depot. Learned that too, but we also learned that he uh, he was the one that signed off on Leah Pritchett's uh, top alcohol license. Yeah, so that's awesome. So she, you know, went to that Frank Holly's drag school. I recommend going there if you're uh, wanting to get into something a little faster, like a top alcohol dragster, or even go pro, uh, like Jack hey guys, said. I gotta go. I'm headed to a Frank Holly's drag school. Oh, me too. All right, he's out of here again. He's gone. And well, you don't go too far. Be- okay. Okay. So, but anyway, we're hoping I'm to... I'm going to California to Frank Holly's drag racing school, dude. Better hurry up. All right. He's going to get more fish sticks. <laughs> you probably heard me tell you guys that. Um, anyway, so we're trying to get Leah Pritchett on the, on the show. I actually haven't sent anything out. 
uh, in the last couple of days. Um, but we're I'm gonna work on it probably probably this weekend actually, uh, getting something typed up, and uh, hopefully send over to Leah Bridget. Um, I think it'd be kind of cool, you know. You know, we're I'm, something I just thought about, and uh, you guys can always text our hotline uh, and let me know what you think. Uh, let me know some comments and stuff. Four zero six five seven seven sixteen hundred, and uh, you guys can call in, text in, whatever you guys want to do, um, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, give us some pointers and what we can change, what we can do, make the show better for you guys. We love, uh, we love you guys, and we want to make it something you guys enjoy and want to listen to. Um, so let let us know what you want, and uh, don't be afraid to text that hotline. We'll we'll respond. Um, it's gonna be hard for us to respond, you know, if you text offline, eh, but that's just kind of how it rolls. Um, but we do respond, unless it's some stupid text, meaning Taylor's brother texting us. Um, so anyway, so I, you know, Leah Pritchett and Dave Connolly, they're the teammates. That's what I was, for some reason, I'm not sure why I said Brittany Force. Um, Dave Connolly and Leah Pritchett drive for uh, Van, Bob Vandergriff Racing. And uh, so I think what would be kind of cool is if we actually got Dave Connolly and Leah Pritchett on the show at the same time kind of thing and was able to uh, talk to both of them. Um, but we kind of like the one-on-one -on -one interviews too. Um, Which is actually two-on-one since there's two of us. Well, true. Um, so, but hopefully we'll be able to get her on. Um, so. Frank Holly's drag racing school was amazing. Wow, that was, I'm telling you what, that was fast. I yeah. And you got some Doritos while you were there. Yeah. I, I was wrong, he didn't go get more fish sticks, he went and got Doritos. I took the VIP. <laughs> the we need to keep a tally of the amount of times Poppy and fall over on this show. I'll be right back. Taylor, oh. 16th is Steve Fer Fari? Ferry? Ferrari. Taylor. Taylor's going to talk to you guys about Funny Car. <laughs> Those cars are really funny. No, that's just me. All right. So while the Pepsi destroys my desk and everything, it's like incinerating. I'm going to move my CDs. We have a red alert situation here on Drag Racing Weekly. I'm apparently in the app store on my phone. That's odd. I'm going to move my valuable CDs that are getting destroyed by the Diet Pepsi, including the Star Wars, The Force Awakens, exclusive covers, Target, soundtrack, as well as the Dark Knight and Star Wars prequel soundtrack. And as well as Batman Forever soundtrack, just for safety. Okay, so Tyler Jackson's going to be back. So, oh, there he is. He's going to clean up the Diet Pepsi. We had to move the uh, valuable merchandise. <laughs> Did you clean it up? No, not yet. Oh, but so that's just dripping all over your bed. It's not drip. Don't you want Pepsi all over your bed? No. Not really. Which corner of this was injured? Oh, it's just water damage. It's not from me. So this is what happens on the uh, live shows. We might keep this in the real show, too. See, you have perks. If you listen live, you get this. You what? And all the, like, technical difficulties. You know, like the wham, wham, wham. When we try to play videos oh, like yeah. last week, you get that when you listen live. But if you don't, you get the the, the good the good stuff. <laughs> but it's just fun to listen <laughs> live. I just wanted to set the pop down and it just and you nope. went through it. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Anyway, we gotta get back at each other. I agree. I don't think we can edit this stuff. This is what the people like to listen to. They like yeah. to listen to the hilarious. Oh, I even got the five finger death punch stuff. You're an idiot. No, we didn't. What? Did I? No. Oh, well, then I don't could care less. All right, did you go over a funny car yet? I did not. Oh, wow, you're a terrible person. It took you three seconds. Uh, first is Ron Caps in the Napa Funny Car. I lost the point. Second, we've got Taylor Larson waiting to do this because we have a system. We have Of the Warsham, who was actually on uh, Dixon's Wild Ride today. We'll talk about that later. We will. Hey, bring those back. No. What are you doing? Go do your job. What are you doing, my job? Here. I don't know what you're doing. You talk to the people about Funny Car. All right, I guess I'm talking to you guys about Funny Car. For the first time in two years, we're switching it up. Second, we got Del Worsham. Of the Worsham. Third is <laughs> Robert, Robert Hyde. Fourth is John Force. 
Fifth is Jack Beckman. <laughs> Sixth is Courtney Force. Seventh is Alexis DeJoria. Eighth is Chad Head. Uh, ninth is Tim Wilkerson. <laughs> Tenth is Cruz Petragon and Gary Densham. Like I said, we'll be talking to him here in a little bit. Um, we're getting a listen. We're not talking to him um, about his parachute failure, and we'll be able, we'll share the video um, on our DRW Facebook. That way, you guys can see kind of the carnage of his car. And I'm gonna hurt you. This is your job. And also tenth, Matt Hagen. So we got a three-way tie from tenth, and a three-way tie for thirteenth, Tommy Johnson Jr., John Hale, Jeffrey Dial, Deal, Dial, Dale, Dale, and James Campbell. Campbell. Oh yeah. All right, Pro Stock. We've got Greg Anderson in first, his teammates in second, Jason Line. Third is Bo Butner the third. Fourth is Drew Skillman. He's no, he's not the Wookiee anymore. Oh, yep. Vincent Nobile is in fifth. Jeg Coughlin Jr. pulls out a nice 53 points from the Winter Nationals at sixth. Seventh is Shane Gray. Seventh is Alan Johnson. Then Chris McGahey is in ninth. Tenth is Alex Lawlin. Eleventh is Aaron Strong and Erica Enders. V. Gaines is running 13th. And Joey Gross is also running 13th, along with Matthew Hartford at 13th, as well as Derek Kramer in 13th. So we've got a four-way 13th tie. So those are your points. Pro Stock Motorcycle has not gone yet. And uh, I don't think they're racing in Phoenix. Yeah, so I'm not sure why. They're just a bunch of wimps and cold. Now come here and tell me how to do this uh, part where we can listen to a little bit of audio. I think you have to activate the middle source. How do you... Not sure what's going on. It's uh, doing that thingamajigger where it's wah, 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 again. So hopefully you guys didn't lose your eardrums. I'm gonna try something else. So give me a second. If it does again, I apologize in advance. Here we go. 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 Um, any ideas? Let's try this. We're going to try something different. Taylor's working on it. Why is it getting louder and louder and louder? Shut the mic off. Oh, that's not working either. How do you know? Because there's no sound. No, there's not. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Parachute. There were no parachutes on that run. There almost seemed to be some brake failure, but you can almost hear the car skip. 
Pacific, Gary was violently trying to pull the brake on a 307 mile an hour run. The driver almost has to time those parachutes so they come right out at the finish line. And if nothing happens, at this point, Gary knows he's just going to tense up. He knows what's in front of him. Flies Auto Club Raceway a tad short. Remember, this is a track that opened in 1950. Who knew that 40, 45 years yes. later and routinely beyond that up to 2016, cars would eclipse 300 miles an hour. But when 69 year old independent funny car racer Gary Denson climbed out, John Kernan was there with him with a lot on his mind. Well, thankfully, Gary Ditchum has gotten out of his car with assistance from the safety safari. And, Gary, what a scary ride. Take us through that. Well, you know, I, I don't know how come the parachutes didn't open. I mean, the car felt like it ran pretty good. I don't even know what it ran, but it seemed like it was pretty good. And then the parachutes didn't open, and he ended up down here. And I guess that's uh, he's had a great career. It's been wonderful, and it's good to have all these guys in the safety safari. It takes all the fear out of running these cars because they're going to do a great job no matter what. And uh, this might be the end of it for us, but, you know, unfortunately, uh, that's the way it goes, but it had to happen. It's great to be here at Pomona and have it happen. You ran a 405, just to, to let you know. Uh, the chutes didn't come out, and when you're carrying that kind of speed, I guess the brakes don't help either. It's not enough. Just not enough. I mean, it's, you know, nobody's fault. It's just, just what happens, you know. It's a uh, shame it had to happen. Uh, we only got one car and no way to get another one. But that's the way it goes. But you know what? I give you the most important thing. You're okay. Thank goodness. Yeah, we'll go out and race my kids' car. We'll have a great time. Of course, left in the wreckage behind him, that tangled mess. Quick hug from his wife, Joanne, on the seat. John Force right away saying, hey, if I can do anything, I will do what I can. Gary Densham is qualified for this field. So that's what happens out here. The racers come to help with other racers for sure. So super exciting. Um, well, not really. Um, it was a scary, it was a, sorry, it was a scary incident, um, for Gary Densham by far. Um, hopefully you guys could hear that okay. I was holding the speaker kind of near the mic just enough to where you guys could hopefully hear it. Yeah. I uh, don't know if it actually did anything. I mean, I was trying to watch the, the, the tachometer thing, the jigger, the, <laughs> it's not the tack, it's a car. Um, the, help me. Levels. Levels of speakerness. <laughs> <laughs> well, only on DRW. Only on DRW could you experience Tyler Jackson's speakerness. Um. Anyway, uh, and so, uh, who knows? Um. But like you said, and Gary Densham, he, John Force. Uh, lots and lots of teams are helping to pull together. Yeah, you know, he actually posted an update on Facebook. So Taylor's going to pull that up right now, actually, as we're speaking, and read that off to us uh, here at DRW. We're going to—we're actually not doing too bad for filling our time. Um, and so, um, obviously, really glad that Gary Densham's okay. Uh, Me too. That was a very scary incident. And uh, but he's trying to get another car together. They're hoping to have one before. Oh, what was it? Uh, I want to say Vegas. I think is what he said. Um, I have another update, and it's more positive yet. But first, I need to go back and explain... This is from Gary Densham. It's Facebook. With the help of Racing Community, and especially John Forrest Racing, we will be doing our damnedest to be at Vegas. So I was right, Vegas. Our sponsors, John Lawson of Lawson Rock and Oil, Charlie Abdouch of Midwest Factory Finishes, and Chris at Far West Freighters, these have all stood behind <laughs> us and said they would help us get there. Some of my crew are taking a week vacation time to get their car ready. All and through all this, we may be announcing another great partner. It's us. Yep. That's not true. No. From the lowest of the low to the highest of the high, I am so blessed. I am more excited about racing than I have been in years. This racing community is awesome. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So there's your again. That's awesome. We love and, him, Tyler. I love Gary Densham. He's one of the older racers. No, he's been around for a long time yeah. racing, racing a Nitro Funny Car. And uh, I think it's really exciting. Um, we tried friending him, but uh, he's got too many friend requests. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Actually, we should just message, message him and say, hey, blah, 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 blah. Remove someone. So. Add us. Uh, now we're going to attempt to listen to the E3 and. Inside the top fuel car rear wing specifications. Yeah. 
Maybe. We're going to try this little thing again, so bear with me. It ain't doing it, so hold on, guys. Let me uh, figure something out. Taylor, get to work. All right. Well, here's what you got to do. What? All right, Taylor's going to try and figure this out. So right, hold up. You really are getting at something here. Um, is it... I think that's what we're on right now, isn't it? We're on whatever microphone. Okay, so it's not that one. We're going to go offline for a second and bear with us. Our mic down. Well, we can try and figure this out. Bear with me. Okay, I think we may have got it. We just can't uh, talk during the video. Just leave the mic on? Wait, that's not what I meant. We can't listen to it. What do you mean? Like, we, you and I can't listen to it? We can talk. We can talk and play the video, and the video goes through here. Okay. But we can't have monitoring on. Okay. Because then it's doing the video in the monitoring, which is causing the wee wee. Okay, try it. Let's try right, it. Let's try We're it. gonna try it. All right. We'll listen to that again since you guys missed it all. Yeah. Uh, where were we? Uh, down E3 right. inside the top fuel right. wing specifications. Here we go. We're gonna try this right, out. We're gonna try it. <laughs> One of the things that makes a top fuel dragster one of the most recognizable automobiles in the world is this rear wing. If you take the measurement from the ground up, it stands 90 inches tall, and from the center of the rear axle back, it's 50 inches behind the car. So, Bobby Lagana, how do you guys use this rear wing as a tuning tool? Uh, we'll come to a track that's warm and uh, maybe a little greasy towards the end, and we'll actually raise the wing or. Uh, increase the length of the uh, flaps on the top and try to create some more downforce to keep the tires stuck to the racetrack. And on the opposite end, if we're on a really good racetrack, we'll lower the wing, just take a little bit of drag away and try to get the car to slip through a little quicker, maybe give us a little more mile an hour. Now, what would this car run like if it didn't have the wing? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a crazy question. Uh, the car would look so bizarre, but it's going to smoke the tires probably around 60 feet. It's You've all had your hand out the window of your car at 60 miles an hour, and it tries to rip your arm off. So this car's doing 100 miles an hour in less than a second, which is just 60 feet. So it's actually producing a lot of downforce at that point, and I think the tires would break loose without it. The number I've heard on the downforce that this wing creates is somewhere between 4,000 and 8,000 pounds. So, so, there, so you there you go. go. Well, we finally got it. We figured it out. We did. So that's awesome news. So now we don't have to worry about trying to figure it out. So now you guys can hear it, and we can play the audio, which is awesome. So now we're going to go to uh, – this was not posted an hour ago. This was posted, like, earlier today. An hour ago? No. I don't know. Because I viewed it at school. Uh, um, we're going to talk to Richie Crampton and uh, John Collins. <laughs> It's back to work this weekend for the stars of the NHRA Mellow Yellow Drag Racing Series as they visit Phoenix. Most of the teams were here less than three weeks ago for the spring training test. But it'll be a lot warmer this weekend, and that changes things for the crew chiefs. Phoenix is uh, touchy. It's kind of been that way forever. You know, it's one of those tracks you go to, and you can go there and just blow the tires off one run and go up the next run, and the thing will shake. So it's... it's uh, you know, you got to get in that, that little window, and if you get through there, you know, you can run pretty good. Well, we had a meeting after Pomona with the guys, you know, let them know that we're not lost. We're just, I made a few wrong decisions, which that happens. We're going to go to Phoenix and make a nice, calm, easy run down the track, and then start pecking on it from there to pick up the ETs. We had a decent weekend at Pomona. We struggled a little bit with some mechanical issues with our clutch management, but Despite that, we still made some pretty good runs, made it to the semis, so pretty happy with that. Um, our main plan is just to try and get everything functioning, and uh, if everything works like it's supposed to, we should be able to run pretty good. 
Qualifying comes your way Saturday night at 10 Eastern on Fox Sports 1, with eliminations on Sunday starting at 5 Eastern, also on Fox Sports 1. For NHRA.com, I'm John Kernan. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's your problem. So, that's uh, some awesome things from you. So, that's, you know, that was great insight from the guys over at uh, NHRA YouTube. Yes. Now we're going to watch this one. I haven't seen this one. Have you seen this one yet? No, I have not. All right. It's only 30 seconds, so bear with us. If it loads. It's going. Here we go. Just be sound. <laughs> it's in just sound. NHRA drag racing on F S one. Alright. So yeah, that's pretty much all we got for videos tonight. Uh leading up to Phoenix. So excited yeah. about that. Um what else we gotta talk about? We got a little bit of YDS news. Um We do. Now we have a little thing here. Last week we talked about July eighth event. We did. And there was a jet car and they thought it was some people that are like <laughs> secret. Yeah. Well, what Yellowstone Frontier posted a new schedule on Facebook. Jet car is gone from that event. It is. So I'm just kind of wondering what kind of what happened there. Yeah. So, but still no time, so we can't start on the uh, commercial. Oh, really quick here. Nine minutes ago, posted or nine hours ago, posted by NHRA. Wow. Something I didn't even know. Uh, today's Connie Coletta's 78th birthday. Happy, Happy 78th birth- birthday, Connie. <laughs> Happy 78th. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. So we'll post that to the DRW Facebook right now. Yes, right now. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Like us on Facebook, too. And you should subscribe to our YouTube channel, where we have incredible videos of things. Also, Instagram. Yeah, check it out. We uh, are going to be posting on Instagram a little bit more now that they added new accounts. Yeah, that's nice. So, that's exciting, and uh, we're ready to go. Um, Yep. It's just great. Follow us everywhere. Follow us to the racetrack to watch us win the championship. So, indeed, moving on. To the YDS sort of schedule that's not finalized. But some of the bigger events that we're just going to quickly cover um, once it loads. Um, no, did you see they kind of updated their mobile website? Did they? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. i got to see it. I have not seen this. We'll go to their Am mobile website. Am I excited? Website. Should I be excited? Mm. No. Do they have 2015 champions? No. What the fuck? Jesus. We're going to see if they updated their main website as well. Well, you check the mobile and the main. I'm going to check their schedule. Wow. Didn't you save the photo? Oh, this one's kind of cool. Yeah. If you, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, I hit the mic with the phone. The mic to the phone. What? Oh, wow, they actually, it's kind of newish. It is kind of newish. This is good. Go to race results. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, boy. Well, it's freezing. So if you work for Yellowstone Drag Strip, good and job. you're listening, but now here's the thing. I'm waiting for it to load. Um, Is that it? I think that. So I'm a little insulted here, and I think all the uh, champions uh, should be for 2015. I know. I um, here's YDS rules, which are different than NHRA. Rules. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And timeout. Apparently, if you're YDS, and NHRA rules apparently then don't apply to you. Oh, archives. Oh, here's our 2013 and 14 champions. Oh, they're missing a year. Uh, yeah. 2015. I think they're just upset that I'm actually uh, the underdog. I they came uh, out of nowhere yeah. and kicked some butt. Yeah, pretty much. 
Oh, here you can contact Roy Mills, Sam Hicks, Dennis, and uh, Julie. Yeah. So anyway, this one's kind of interesting. Did you see this? Uh, the Junior Power Race? Yeah, that was they uh, posted that a couple days ago. Yeah, Monday. Monday, a couple days ago. I'm pretty good with my estimates here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they say it's going to be a great year with the schedule. Uh, we're looking May 27th is the beginning of the race. It's uh, Friday night. We're going to be testing and tuning. Um, what? We are. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be out there uh, with the? our Nova. What in the world? <laughs> Taylor this? can edit the pictures. Dude, see if you can see if you can put a picture of the my car on there. Dude, I can like move them and make them bigger. What the? <laughs> what is this? I just always remember to move them. Why can I move the pictures? This is weird. Where's mine? So if you go to yellowstonedragstrip.com, you can move their little uh, pictures around here. Yeah. Save a tree. Support your local drag strip. Oh, here's Big Sky Truck Fest. For, um... Really impossible to read. Yeah. Here's Ed Jones. July okay, Jones. okay, time out. I want to complain again. Now, you and I, we were pretty spirited for the Pack the Track in Purple last hey, year. We're just not there. I'm pretty sure the track is pissed at me. I really yeah, am. I wonder why. What? Why would the track be mad at me? We're going to be right back for a commercial break. Because. We're back. <laughs> so, yep. That was fun. Me and him just, like, killed each other. Anyway, yep. no, but, like, we, we, I was in a pink purple tutu, purple tutu, sparkly purple tutu, with big purple sunglasses on and a big fuzzy thing on my head. Yeah. And I didn't even make the Pack the Track in purple poster. No. That is so dumb. You know how itchy that was all damn day? Extremely. It sucked. They just, they just don't like it. And I even had a fire suit on that day. Yeah, oh, come on. They just, you know, they have their preferences. Well, you know what's funny is if you click on the picture, every single one of them are track favorites. So true. Like, look at them. Like, zoom in a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what, shit, what the hell is going on out there. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta do something. We'll be right back. Oh, jeez. We're back. So, um, anyway, so I need to stop complaining. May 28th is the first race. Yep, at the um, Dash Memorial Race. Yeah, ET Brackets. And then the 29th, we won't be there because, well, once again, favoritism at the track. Pretty much. Getting passed around here. They started the date that date because, well, I don't know why. But that's our graduation, and unfortunately for me and Taylor here, NHRA High School Drag Racing YDS champions, uh, mainly me, but he's my crew chief, so he counts. He counts. Yeah, he he's, he is my – he's a crew chief champion. Yeah. That counts. That counts. So we've got our championship together right here, man. Yeah. I mean, we're just I – I got the trophy right here in the studio. Yeah, it's great. And uh, – and so, but, yeah, so we're going to miss the 29th. That's going to hurt us in points. Uh, that's going to hurt us quite a bit in points. Yeah. Um, but anyway, then June 4th, we're going down two weeks. Is it just a week? It might be just a week. Mm -hmm. It's just a week? Oh, but we're not racing. So Street Outlaws of the 406, June 11th and 12th, ET brackets. June 18th, Fridays. We don't know. Don't know what that is. Technici technical driving training in course. 24th, 5th, and 6th. Is that... I'm going to check the calendar. You continue with... Wait. Oh, that's June 18th. So that must be like a Saturday before. June 24th and 25th and the 26th, we got the Big Sky Nationals. That's the NHRA Open. Do we know what the NHRA Open is? It's Nostalgia Funny Cars, Jet Car, Super 16 Shootout, and Wally Race. Oh, okay. And Bill Decker will be here for that. He will. So that'll be the exciting. And we will... painted chassis Thunderstruck Jet Drive. Yeah, yeah, so that's exciting. Excited to see Bill that back down here. We got our own GoPro this year, and we're going to have double the uh, camera action. So yeah. we're excited definitely for that because we do our own productions too. So yeah. we're excited. It's on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, where are we at here? We're at the uh, Brawls and Burnouts. We are at July 8th. 
So, Caged MMA Fights, it's the second annual uh, Brawls and Burnouts with the Super 16 Shootout. July 9th and 10th, we've got ET Brackets. Um, then, July 23rd and 24th, we've got our, the, I don't know how many years we've been doing this now, but it's the, uh, whatever annual, Pack the Track in Purple with yeah. Ed Jones, Jelly Billy Wheel Center, and I'll actually, damn it. Not be here that weekend, and Taylor might not either. It's you, you never know. We'll have to see. I'll be camping, and he might come with me this year. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I'm hoping it's a fun weekend though. We go up for four days. It's a great time. Four or five days up to uh, Hepkin Lake, and uh, we just go boating and tubing and sit there and drink beer. No, I'm just kidding. We're only seventeen. He'll be eighteen by then. But we'll. um, actually, yeah, I was gonna say. Well I, was, well, I was wondering if I would be, but no, no, um, close, close, but not quite. But so we can't drink, but that's okay. Well, you know what we can drink? Pepsi. Mountain Dew and Pepsi. Woo! So, cheers. <laughs> that was awesome. So, um, we'll see what happens there. Um, but I definitely won't be here that weekend. Uh, July thirtieth, Street Outlaws four six. August fifth. Wait a minute. What? Why is there another brawls and burnouts? There's two. What? Then it can't be the second annual. <sighs> okay. August 6th and 7th, 50 Years of Funny Car Celebration. I wonder what that's going to entail. They don't really have any details. No, they don't. Maybe and uh, John Forrest will be up here. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Or Ron Caps. Ron yeah. Caps is pretty Both. chill. Maybe Jack Beckman. I'm totally down for it. Yeah. So that'll be exciting. I'm I'm psyched. I'm ready to go. Me too. Let's go. When I'm going to go wait in line. For All, right. <laughs> All right. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, what's next here? NHRA Street Outlaws at the 406. Yes. Now we're going to the NHRA DA. NHRDA <laughs> is what I meant. Tractor pulls and diesel red drags, August 19th through the 20th. Uh, August. Do we know if Kurt Robinson was actually up here? What do you mean? Like, like two, two years ago? Or yeah. this last year? Two years ago. Two years? Yeah. Yeah, he was here. Okay, cool. Why? I don't know. It was just like, there were never any like videos or pictures or anything. That's a good point. Like we didn't a really go. good point. Yeah, and we so. didn't go. Well, I think there. Well, he said he was up here, but and someone else said that all he had was troubles with the truck, which doesn't surprise me because he's had tr- nothing but troubles yeah. with that truck since you he said that it. on the podcast like three months before. Yeah. So I, I actually, I don't, I don't know. Interesting. Kurt Robinson drives the uh, silver jet truck. <laughs> it's silver. Um, long story. Long story. You're gonna have to check it out in those bloopers. Um, I should put that in the next bloopers. Do it. I'm doing it. So, uh, what else do we got? Another Wally race? How do we have? T- why do we have two Wally races? Why not? Tyler Jackson does not want the Wally. No, I want the Wally, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have two Wally races. I can sure has twenty four Wally races. Yeah, all right, good point. Uh, August twenty seventh and twenty eighth, it's the Night of Fire side by side jet cars with Bill Dicker and Mark Stevens. Uh, the Harley race and Wally race ET brackets. September 3rd and 4th, we got the Menholt Classic, Ed Jones Jelly Belly Wheel Stander, uh, and E.T. Brackets. And it sucks because all of this stuff is going on on weekends that I will be gone. Well, why, you know, you're why? only going to be at, like, the U.S. Nationals. Oh, that's why. I was like, why will I be gone? So lame. Yeah, that's true. I'll only be over hanging with Tony Schumacher, yeah. Jack Beckman, Ron Caps, Larry Dixon. Me and, me and Larry are going to do a podcast together, man. I'm a, You should. I actually should. That would be really cool. Dude, do it. I'm going to ask him. We have to. I'm going to do it. You do like a collaboration. That would be really freaking awesome. Yeah. Hey, will you come on DRW Live with me, and then can I come on Dixon's Wild Ride with you? Yeah, you do like a combo show. That would be really cool. That's a really good idea. We're doing it. Well, I'm doing well, it. Yep. <laughs> Unless you magically come to the U.S. Nationals with me. <laughs> September 10th, we get the Street Outlaws 406. September 17th through the 18th, we're going to the King of the Track, MDA. MDA. <laughs> MDRA. Uh, state points and ET brackets, final races. And I just want to listen here. These dates are YDS track points races. The ones with the, the, ones with the one thingy. thingy on Saturdays and Sundays. No, the ones with the two thingies. <laughs> Our final YDS track points races on Sunday. Saturday. Saturday. And the other. Why is there. Then how are we going to know? Because it's only the last weekend. Oh, okay. Anyway. So, yeah. blah. No sideways Saturdays this year. They must not have uh... done very well. Yeah. We never went. Uh-uh. It just didn't work out. Uh-uh. We were going to the last time, but we just, like, didn't. We were going to all three times, but when I found out the price... Yeah. It was a little more than I wanted to pay. So, it didn't happen. That's what YouTube's for. 
so true. <laughs> Why go to a concert and you can have your own? No, it's not. So, um, so hopefully we're going to be doing commercials for YDS here before too long. Um, getting those up, but we got to get dates. Um, we have dates. Times. We have to get times. Yeah. So, but we probably won't have those before, well, the day of the races. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. So, real quick, we're going to speak about my Nova. Um, All right. I don't have an update on it. Um, hey, look, the song's right there this time. Wow. Um, was hoping to hear something. I went out there the other night. He was supposed to work on it, and he yeah. hasn't uh, even touched it. So, Jerry, if you're out there listening, please fix it. Come on, get to work. Let's go. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just be like, hey, I, I need it. I mean, I got to get it. I got to get the car painted. I got to get it, you know, new windshield put in it. I got to learn the car. I mean, there's a lot of things I've got to do still to get it ready yeah. and get myself ready because um, it's really hard to race season without any experience in the car. That's what your rookie season's for. But it's not my rookie season. Well, it's my rookie season in that car. Yeah. But it's not my rookie season. It's actually my – well, do we want to be technical about it? Because if we were technical, it's my junior year. Mm-hmm. But this is actually my only – Sophomore year, second year running in the uh, high school class, and it's my it is my rookie year running in sportsman. Yeah, um, I'll be well if I get the car. Um, I'm actually gonna go out there probably this weekend, take the front tires off. Um, That's a good idea. That way, no one can steal it. Do you realize last week? I know. I spent two hours in the cold and the rain. It was not raining. Those tires it was off. like sleet, and it's not my fault. I thought Jerry was gonna have the engine done like that weekend. That's why I went out and did I thought I was getting the car to paint it. That's why I went out and put them on. You're never getting that car. I know. But I'll tell you what. Those back tires look damn good. They do. They look good. We posted them on our official Instagram. We did, too. Along and with the concept of the uh, paint job. Yeah. Which is only on Instagram. That's the only place you can find that right now. Actually, technically, it is. Yeah. It's not on Snapchat anymore. No, it's not. Um, you know, we complained about not having uh, dual accounts. Maybe we should complain about Snapchat not having dual accounts. I think we should. Snapchat, get your dual accounts going. Come on, jeez. I'd make a DRW Snapchat. I would too, but... What? What? Follow both DRW Snapchats. <laughs> no. Meaning, like, I agree. Uh, I agree with you, but I don't want to... Yeah. I, I don't know my don't passwords. Know my yeah, passwords. exactly. I don't either, so that's why I don't ever log out. Yeah. I have them all written down somewhere, but it's just a matter of getting it out. But, um... So, who knows on the Nova? Hopefully... Or something. I'm probably gonna call him and say, Jerry, look, you got to get started on this. Um, you know, I, I I don't have time to be waiting. I said, I I mean, I don't want to sound like a you know a jerk or anything, but we've got to we got to really get moving on it because race season is coming up fast. It's already the 23rd of February, March, April, May, three months, not even three months. Um, actually, well, three months, almost three months to the date. Um, 27th of February, it'll be three months exactly. Yep. So we're uh, we're counting down, and I still got to get a windshield in the car. That'll probably take a couple weekends. I actually probably take a one, but um, you know you got to look at paint. There's there's a week, maybe two. Uh, then you got to look at you know getting the decals on it. And I don't even know um, the one that we decided on. I'm I'm debating on doing. Um, oh, you're debating now. I, I like the design. That's definitely the coolest design we've drawn up. But I'm not sure about the black because it would just kind of be weird just to have that black spot. Yeah. So we're going to work on a couple other designs coming up here in the next uh, probably week. I got sponsors and stuff I'm delivering on Friday. So I got a busy weekend, a week ahead of me. Um, I actually haven't even finished uh, drawing up those those uh, sponsorships yet. Oh, nice. So. You should probably finish though. Well, I've been just so tired lately because I've been so busy. I mean, it's just been crazy. So, but we're excited uh, to get on with that stuff, and uh, hopefully Taylor here will have a nice uh, championship car in his uh, possession. Oh yeah, we actually uh, set the check in yesterday. Oh cool! Well, yeah, uh, that's great. Nice, nice. Yep. <laughs> haven't seen the money. <laughs> well, you know, it takes a few weeks to process. <laughs> it's a lot Taylor of money. is currently working on talking to our managers, his side of the manager field. 
and uh, buying my old car. You know, we need to get the sponsors because we have like sponsor things going on, and we need to get those sorted out. Sponsors are a lot of pains. Yeah. But I think I mean once you get them, then you're pretty much set. Um, but um, so he's working still on getting that. Yes. Um, we're kind of trying to make a deal with him. Um, that if something happens to the car, it blows up the first round or first race, you know, a couple first couple races, then I'll give him my half of the money because my dad and I are splitting it. Um, but if it makes it all season and blows up, I'm not. I mean, there's a fine line, but it's yeah. it's mainly because you know he's my brother and uh, we're all one big family here. And so, but I, I would love to see him running a car this year. Uh, hopefully, he can get in the championship car because you'll actually be at a few more races, I believe, unless something changes, um, than I will be. Um, I'm actually um, Tony Schumacher's personal assistant now. Oh, cool! I'll be missing most of the race. Oh, dang! Yeah, darn. That's too bad. That's terrible. I'm yeah. sorry about. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> That's not true. No, we're not. That'd be sweet. Not gonna lie, that'd be really cool. So, um, yeah. Now, can I, can I do this? Can I do this still and play the song? Or do I have to turn this off? Does it work? Are you sure? Okay, well, if not, you can turn your top. So, um, but I think really that's all we've got to cover. We covered the entire hour, which was awesome, because we really didn't have a whole lot to talk about. We just, right. we just made it pull out and drag out this. Hope you guys enjoy the show. We love listening to you, and I'm really glad to hear that we're growing. Um, I mean, that is the goal. You know, this is like 70 a week. That's not bad. And we're, you know, a lot of people, they have like 28,000 listens a week. And we're just like, 70 is pretty good. So we're from Billings, Montana, small town. No, no real budget show, so we really don't have any good software, any real equipment. We got Mixler. We want to thank Mixler again for letting us do this. And uh, we really appreciate it. I'd like to check out your own Mixer account. You can register. Yeah, so check that out there. Once again, we'd like to thank Mixer for letting me do this. Um, we'd also like to thank our sponsors, uh, Red Country Signs and uh, Pepsi and Mountain Dew, as well as Oreo. Yes. No, just Red's Prints and Signs and Mako. We'd like to so shout out to them. We're currently working on getting white heating and air conditioning here in Billings, Montana. Yeah, so we'll see how it all goes. But uh, until next time, uh, you guys have been listening to Drag Racing Weekly with Tyler Jackson. And So we'll talk to you guys all next week, 7 p.m. Mountain Time, unless we do a live show on Sunday. We don't know, so you're going to have to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, check us out on Twitter, uh, follow us on Instagram. Subscribe on Google Yeah, so check it all out. We're everywhere. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to tell your friends. we we'll see you guys next week. We love you, and we'll talk to you guys all later. Bye. Peace.
CRW does not own any of the music produced tonight by Five Finger Death Punch. Please don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and iTunes. See you next week.